All right, guys, let's see how we can make uh, the default uh, Fedora more usable. Let's say by customizing a little bit the uh, GNOME default uh, desktop environment. As you can see, this is the default environment. So first we would like to install uh, one extension, which is called uh, Unite. And uh, from the extension GNOME org, this is the extension we would like to install. Okay, so we we'll click here to install the browser extension. We'll allow this extension to be installed. And uh, now the show integration also have to be enabled. This way we can uh, control the access to our extensions by just clicking here on this GNOME icon. And we see this uh, little icon or switch here is now uh, not installed. We just click here, it, it automatically install and activate itself. We we'll confirm by clicking the install. And we can click on the installed extensions. And we see that the Unite extension is already installed. We can uh, configure the extension uh, from this icon here. All right, the next thing we would like to do is to install GNOME Tweak 2. Or we'll just type uh, GNOME Tweak. And we see the search returns the result for GNOME Tweaks. So it's time uh, to install it. Okay, we just click on install and we can launch the application and restart GNOME software simultaneously. So here, some of the things uh, that we would like to correct are to remove the application menu from the top bar section and we can restore the minimize and maximize windows uh, controls because right now we have to double click to minimize and maximize accordingly and we can just turn on those two options and we see the icons appeared all right that's for now from the tweaks and the next thing we would like to install is the extension dash to dock so we would like to configure this dock click on installed extensions we'll have an option uh, to configure the appearance of this uh, extension. So we click on settings. From the position and size, we can click on uh, panel mode extend to the screen edge. So we can see easily our running programs. From the appearance, we can click on uh, shrink the dash. From dash to dock and position inside, we'll uh, stop the intelligent auto height. And then we would like to install one other extension, which is called Desktop Icons. So this will allow us to have uh, icons on our uh, desktop. So when it's installed and turned on, we'll see that the icons will appear on the desktop and make our user space even more uh, friendly. The next extension would like to take a look. It's uh, allowing us to improve our productivity and it's uh, switching off all the colors uh, and switching to grayscale mode. So just type uh, this at rate. And this is the extension. So it's very useful if you have a lot of work to do and uh, it just uh, removes the strain uh, from your eyes. So we'll install the extension and here you can see the little icon which you can turn on and it uh, just uh, removes all the color distractions from our work. Uh, speaking of uh, color distractions and color temperature, also from the settings you can configure the night light mode to on. From here you can go to settings and then from devices. Uh, you see this option night light. It allows just to remove parts of the blue light, uh, which will excite us when we work in the night. We set the night light to on and we can enjoy 
our work so that's it guys you can still play a lot about those settings and configure them by your own wishes um, if you have enjoyed the information don't forget to subscribe to the channel